Hi, I'm Pastor Bryce of Everyone's Church, and today the message is the need of grace. Every one of us need grace in our life. We need the grace of God. In fact, the, the Bible says the grace of God is unmerited divine assistance. It's divine assistance. It is divine favor. It's a virtue coming from God when we don't deserve it, it's still extended to us, even though we don't deserve it. Amen. That's the grace of God. And grace is supernatural power. And every one of us need God's supernatural power in our everyday life. Come on now. All of us do. We all need God's grace in our life. And he wants to extend it into each one of us. It says in Ephesians 2, 8, 9, it is by grace that you are saved through faith and not of yourself. It's a gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. It is extended to you and I today. It's by grace that you're saved. It says in Romans 6, 14, for sin will not have no dominion over you since you're not under law, but you're under grace. We are all under the grace of God. We're living in a season that's grace. It's a season of grace. It is a day of grace. It is a time of grace in your life. Grab on to it, people. Grab on to that grace. It says in Hebrews 4.16, Let us then approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. That grace is there. You can approach the throne of grace with boldness today, with confidence, not because of all the good things that you're doing, it's because of the great things that God has done for you. And God is extending that to you and I in our everyday life. You can have confidence that the God of all grace is going to extend that grace to you today. So grab onto it. Pull it in to your life. I was asked one time to jump on a jet ski. I'd never been on a jet ski. In Lake Stevens, they said, hey, jump on this jet ski. All you need to do is get on it. Just go like, and start to fly around. And if you fall off, which you probably will, there's big waves all over the place. There's boats going all over and big waves back and forth. It says, if you fall off, just come up to the surface and wait for the jet ski to come to you because it's gonna have a motor that will continue to run. It will continue to run and it will go in circles and it will come and it will find you. So I was flying on that jet ski and having fun. And I flew over this great big wave and biffed it. I just was sinking way down and I started floating up. I was spitting out water all over the place. And I came up and I didn't know where I was. Like, where am I? And I remembered, oh, that's right. The jet ski's gonna find me. And so I just waited and I saw, I looked around, I saw the jet ski. It was going around in circles, going around in circles, and it was working its way right to me. All I had to do was stay right there, and the grace of God came into me just like that jet ski. It came in right to me, and I jumped back on it, and that's God's grace for you. You know what? You might biff it in life. You might fall down. You might not know where you're at. You might have hit hard. You might have came down and flowed up and just go, life is tough. But you know what? As you just prepare to receive, that grace of God is making its way to you today. It's coming back your direction. Amen. Grab onto that grace because it's there for you in your life. People might not give you grace. There's a lot of people with bitter comments to you. They're negative. They don't forgive. But you know what? We serve a God that's higher. His ways are higher than man's. His thoughts are higher. And God is saying, I'm a God of grace is what he says. And he has grace for you today. Even though maybe some family members or friends or even co-workers or different people might not have grace for you. God has grace for you. And he's coming back your direction. He's coming back. And he's getting right into your grill today with his grace. So receive it. Pull it in. We all need grace. And God is extending by his love. He's bringing it into your life. It says in Romans 6, 1, Shall we go on sinning that God's grace may increase? 
By no means. We died to sin. How can we live it any longer? Amen. So I'm not going to take God's grace for granted. No. Even though that power is extended to me, I'm not going to just be flippantly living in sin and just doing my own thing and just expecting grace to just come and cover my nonsense and me just to continue to do nonsense. No, right. my attitude is that, that God's grace is so good for me, it gives me ability and power to change. It transforms me. And God wants to transform this vessel right here. And he wants to transform you. And it's his grace, his supernatural power that comes into your life and it gives you the ability to change. It makes you a new person today because we all need the grace of God. And God is saying, I'm extending my grace to you today. Receive it. It is for you today. God bless you all.